do we start? How about, whoa, with the elephant in the room? That, not you, sorry. <laughs> that giant black bull back there. Giant. That small, <laughs> big bull. He looks big from here. Yeah. Two. It's all about perspective. Perspective. Okay, so last we updated you about the cows. If you stand next to me, we'll actually both be in focus here. Last we updated you about the cows. We had... We had the Scottish Highland Bull, Ferdinand. Ferdy. Ferdy. And... He was a young bull. He came here with us thinking we had already AI'd... Luna. Luna and... And Honeybee. Honeybee. So we got him for Grasshopper because I wanted to try something different. I was getting low on my AI straws. We did have one AI straw left, but we didn't want to use it on Grasshopper. She's our biggest. Yeah, I, th I thought it'd be nice to get something different out of her. A beef. So he came. He, he came. saw. He saw. Don't he know if he conquered. Tried to breed Luna too. Uh, as actually, as soon as he got here, Luna tried to mount him. <laughs> so, so I was like, knew. "Oh no! Either she's just hey, being hey, don't be a butt. It's, uh, trying to be dominant, or she's or she's coming into heat." So, okay, we knew Luna hadn't been bred, Grasshopper hadn't been bred, Honeybee hopefully was bred. Fast forward. Fast forward to Honeybee uh, coming into heat while so, Ferdinand was here. So none of the cows uh, took to the AI uh, that we had tried to AI. Grasshopper hopefully was bred by Ferdinand. Luna, surprise, was probably bred by Ferdinand. And Honeybee was coming into heat, but I did not want him to breed her. She was on the wrong side of the fence, that's why she wasn't coming down. Because they, they have no problem getting on the wrong side of the fence, but once they're there, like, oh no. <laughs> We're trapped here forever. So we had, the kids called him Ferdinand, our little Scottish Highland bull that we loaned from a friend of ours. I didn't, you, I didn't want him to breed her because I've heard that the, the Highland calves can be kind of blocky. She's my smallest cow. My, she's a heifer, so she hasn't had a calf before. I didn't want to start her off on a calf no, that no. might be big. I want to get the smallest no. calf I can. What? I want to see the cow. So when she was coming into heat and Ferdinand was here, I put her away. I locked her up because I didn't want him to breed her. And chance of a calf would that would be harder for her to get out. One that we would have to pull. A la grasshopper. Are you? Do you night bud? Do you? She just doesn't know. You go slow. Now. What's cow say? So you protected her from. I put her away and wolly. started chatting with a friend of ours who owns Mini Gancho. Jersey. The giant bull. Mini Jersey You're bull. Big, You're a big guy. Mr. Concho's over there. Than me. Who had already used him on his cows, so they were all bred, and he said <clears> we <throat> could borrow him for as long as we needed to do breed our cows. Now, you had the one AI straw. I had one AI straw left. One. Before Concho showed up. You uh, yeah, I knew they couldn't get Concho's here in time to catch her on that cycle. They would have been a day or two late. So I texted my AI guy, said, hey, we got one straw left, you know, when can you come out here? He said, I can be there in a half hour, which my AI guy never says. <laughs> and it was kind of early for me. I was thinking she wasn't standing yet. She was just coming into heat. Putting a straw on her would kind of be a waste. But he said, I I'm, I'm not working this weekend, so you got 15 minutes to make up your mind. Thanks. <laughs> no pressure. We've been Austin so good wasn't at even home. picking AI Yeah, I'm not, timing. I'm not great at timing AI, which is why with Luna, we'd been doing a synced protocol, which didn't work. Well, which worked once this year, but she lost that calf yeah. and on subsequent breedings didn't work. I'm not great at timing my AI. 
but he said he could come and I thought, you know what? what? It's a football, what is it? Hail Mary? Yeah, it's nice. a Hail Mary. For all you sports fans out there. He came, he said she had good tone, which he never said before. Look at that. So I thought, well, I, I, I do not think it's going to work. I do not think. I mean, it, nothing's worked this nothing's year. Nothing's worked. It's, it's not, been a not been a great year. Year <laughs> for the plans we have. Farms. But uh, what the heck? We tried it, all, and all uh, yeah. and then we got. And Mr. then Concho showed up. I don't up. want to call him Mr. Cleanup because while Kay wanted the woolly mix and something different, I didn't. I still got dreams of having these beautiful little mini jerseys. We got thrown a huge curveball this year with Ladybug and everything that was really depressing and sad. But I still hope we can get it. I still hope we can make that perfect little family milk cow and one of these days actually have them available for sale for people. And so I wanted to have some pure mini jerseys like the original plan was. So yeah. I don't want to call Concho cleanup because to me he's like... Well, I, that's why I call him Plan C. Plan C, that's much better. <laughs> so. See so we got cleanup? him to breed honeybee if the straw, if the straw didn't, didn't take. take. Now fast and forward, also, fast forward oh, okay. a couple of weeks and Luna's coming back into heat. So and grasshoppers coming back into heat. So for all you asking us if you could put a deposit down on a woolly jersey. <laughs> there will probably not be one this year. Not on this farm. Nope, not from us because I don't think Ferdinand either his reach wasn't great. He tried. Or he, he tried, tried or he just a too young. Little guy. Poor guy. Uh, but big thanks to Mac Farms for oh, yeah. letting us borrow him. He was such a nice little bull. Yeah. And in the future I'm definitely gonna work at that cross. I think I would actually I wanted to see one. I'm still interested in seeing one. I actually went down a rabbit hole of mini Scottish Highland cattle. <laughs> Me like you. <laughs> They're like seventeen thousand oh. dollars. So me not like you that much. But someday when they're not seventeen thousand dollars, you might see a mini sky Scottish I Highland. Because I'm not the dairy guy. I'm. He's a but I guy. do like cows. I have totally been won over to cows, just not milking. I will never be a dairy guy. Yeah. But I do like having cows. They're the easiest. So, so move the cows today. So I'll move the cows now that I admitted how much I love them. Yeah. Go now do you have some to work. With go them. work with them. That means we're going to test her today. If she comes up as positive, I'll know it was from that last either AI breeding or he had made it right at the tail end and caught her. So I'll know it's either um, our, our AI bull we picked or Concho's. Pretty good if it comes positive, I would put money down it was the straw. I feel like every year we're like, who's the daddy? Oh, it this makes for not, good YouTube. Not <laughs> Mori yeah. Povich. Mori Pomich Farms. Mori <laughs> Pomich Farms. Boom. That's our new farm name. Mori Pomich. <laughs> ah, like it. Yeah. Who was the other one? Jerry Springer. Jerry Sp Fur Springer. Uh, I mean, a Springing Heifer. Jersey actually, Springer Farms. There you go. Oh. That means we're dragging her down to the barn now uh, and drawing some blood. So, you gonna drag? No. I'm gonna drag. No, uh, I'll try. Oh, I can drive. Well, you gotta bring all she this does. stuff. She does. Yeah, I gotta Come camera on, crew. Somebody's gotta run the camera. Somebody. We get our we get our pregnancy sample our pregnancy sample test kits for from uh, the Lancaster DHIA. We get all the testing equipment for free. They don't charge for any of that. They just charge for processing the sample, which is a couple bucks. So it's totally worth it if you're buying a new cow and you're wondering. Sure, they said she was pregnant, but is she really? Yeah, just pull some blood or milk if she's in milk to confirm the pregnancy. Austin and I are not great at this tail draw. Always fun. Yeah. But 
practice, practice, practice. Ready? They do send instructions. How to tail bleed cattle. See that? Oh yeah, that, it's that, that spot? easy. You know that spot? I know it like the back of my hand. Back of your tail. Oh yeah. Perpendicular to the tail the by midline, about three to six eight inches from the base of the tail. E Z P Z. You're. Uh, We've done both the vac. What is this called? Vacu tube. Vacu tainer. Vacu and we've also done a syringe. Syringe, yeah. We've done both methods. I think we're vacu tainer. Both have been difficult for us to master. Yeah. But <laughs> I think we've come to the conclusion that vacu tainer is the way to go. Um, do we want to tie her up and stuff? That'll keep her from going anywhere. Oh, yeah. She is. Nice. Uh, Hey. First try. That's a record. Uh, I don't know if you noticed, but the needle going in didn't. She didn't even flinch. It's not the needle that bugs them here. It's the being restrained. Little Miss Freedom is her middle name. Uh, and the bleeding stopped, so. So we're good. Did you see that splurt come out? Yeah, I blood. definitely hit it, actually. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you got it. Oh, yeah, that's nice. The, uh, Is it on the rope? Yeah, well, I got it on the rope just now. Maybe. I feel like this is the first time I haven't felt impending dread going to do this. Me either. So, how many years have we been doing this? Oh, years yeah. and years of doing this, and that's the first time we haven't both dreaded it. Yeah, it wasn't like a big ordeal. <laughs> so if you're doing it for the first time and you've got a terrible pit in your stomach and you've been having nightmares about it, that's normal. But it probably won't be so bad as you think. It usually isn't. Sometimes you got to stick them, stick them, and stick them, and have your husband try that it. That did really good. Stick them and stick them and stick them. Yeah, I think them. last time I wound up wound Yeah, up you got it. it. But you nailed it that time. I did. Old pro. Make sure I don't lose it. Oh yeah, that would be a bummer. Chicken season is over. It's meat chicken season. Happy dance? Oh yeah, I'd do a heel click for that. <laughs> okay, dare me. if you want to. <laughs> well, seeing as you dared me. <laughs> We're pulling the chicken tractors out of the field. We're gonna take them back to the barn, put them somewhere out of the way. John always says uh, when winter comes, it's a good idea to take the tarps off your chicken tractors so that they last longer. 
that would be a very annoying thing to do. They're very well attached. But, you know, I don't want my tarps to get ruined, so. Maybe I'll just get a tarp for the tarps. But we're pulling them out now. I, I really, meat, meat birds this year was a great thing. It worked really, really well. These chicken tractors were a huge improvement over our previous stuff we've done. Really enjoyed using the chicken tractors. Got a pretty good system. But boy, it was a ton of work. So I'm not feeling sad to park the chicken tractors for the season. Next year, we're thinking of probably doing about 100 birds. We did 300 this year. This year, we're gonna, next year coming, we're probably gonna do about 100, maybe two batches of, you know, we'll get like maybe 120 birds or something. We'll do like 20 in each chicken tractor and uh, just two batches, two butcher days. Yeah feed our family enough chicken and have a couple extras for helpers and friends and family. Anything's gonna pop right back off. You're good, you're good. starting to rain so we're gonna head inside you may have noticed in all that footage no Millie where's Millie what's Millie up to what's going on with the camels we're gonna cover that in our next video join our email list so you don't miss that video the minute it comes out I'll let everybody know on the email list so you can get the camel update learn about Millie Solomon and what's going on with camels here at home study thanks for watching